All right, cool little case study we're gonna do here, top velocity. We wanted to take a force plate and look at the Newton's or ground forces of a depth drop jump and its uh, differences or comparisons to the forces of a hang clean. So there's some issues here and it's, it's a good lesson to learn that what we've found is if the clean is not built around a triple extension technique, then it can't compete because you're using posterior chain, you're using back, okay? So obviously if we are going to be able to compete with a jump uh, with the clean, we have to implement good triple extension. So we've also found too, when guys started to add more weight to the, the hang clean and their technique changed, we saw the forces go down. But if we're able to keep good technique, we should see an increase to the hang clean. The other issue is, and we're gonna try to uh, prevent that is, PAP, which is post-activation potentiation. If I do a depth drop jump, what most motor unit recruitment I get from that will be transferred to the hang clean, which technically we, we don't want to mix that. So we will rest, let's 15, 30 minutes uh, in between to make sure PAP is not influencing it. We are going to go depth jump to uh, hang clean. So let's get started. Start with the depth jump. So I'm going to go for a maximum effort attempt. Here we go. You ready? Mm. Go. Two thousand. You can feel it when you do the hand clink. The hand clink teaches you to load better. And when you get farther away from it, you don't want to load anymore. You just want to hit it and get off. When you start doing the hand clink, you want to hit it and like load into it and power out of it. Shut up. Keep it down. Shut up. You ready? Yep. Twenty-four hundred. Yep. Twenty-four hundred. That's fine. So close with me. A little over twenty-four hundred. So what we've learned is potentially, if I keep my triple extension technique and my hand cleans, I potentially can increase my ground forces over a, a, a depth drop jump. The, and I think the lesson here is, is the technique. If I can keep, continue to use the lower half, if, I, if it goes heavier and I start to go to the back, then all of a sudden I start to lose the force production. So at the same time too, we're not saying this because we don't do depth or plyometric jumps or drop jumps. We do, it's a great combination with these two lifts. But it's all it's, what this video is for and this test is for is that one isn't a better alternative of the other. They work both together and they shouldn't be uh, alter alternatives. Um, so if you wanna avoid hang cleans, um, as you can see, potentially you're not gonna be able to generate as much lower half ground forces or maximize power as well as you could if you combine that with your plyometric work. So cool, maybe we'll uh, continue to do more of these case studies. Uh, we've learned a lot and I hope you did too.